Alright guys, it is Tuesday and I am at home. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to put my uniform on and I'm going to go to Barcelona to fly to uh, Prestwick up in, the, uh, up in Scotland. Okay, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you now and say that today I am feeling a little bit tired. Um, yesterday I did four sector sectors out of Barcelona, I had to drive there before then work four sectors and then drive back again. So it ended up with almost 15 hour working day. Today it's going to be a little bit less because I have two, um, two sectors only. Um, but tomorrow I have four and I have four the day after that. So um, at the moment it's a very, very hard roster to work. So like I've been saying, not everything is laughs and glory in this occupation. But uh, I'm sure today is going to be turn out to be a great day anyway. So. Alright guys, so um, I am just getting ready for my flight to Prestwick and the weather in Prestwick is quite windy, it's uh, closing in on maximum crosswind up there. So we've taken 15 minutes of extra fuel, uh, which is something we do in case you know we think that there's a likelihood that we might have to wait a little bit if the crosswinds actually exceed limits or if we have to do a go around and still wanted to get another attempt. So. Uh, we're gonna have a look. Uh, doing line trainings, obviously, I'll be flying it up to Prestwick and then possibly doing the takeoffs as well. And then my cadet is going to be practicing night landings here in Barcelona later on. But uh, the weather, apart from the wind, is looking quite well. It's not, uh, it's not raining at the moment. The visibility is quite okay. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting it to be fairly good um, flying weather. It's uh, no turbulent forecast on the route, which is also helping a lot. But the operations here in Prestwick, sorry, here in Barcelona, is quite. Uh, intense I would say so I'm gonna start getting ready for that now start uh, preparing for the taxi out and everything so um, come with me Hi everybody and very welcome to Prestwick. So we managed to get here on time. Actually we were about 10 minutes delayed out from the gate in um, uh, Barcelona. Uh, everyone is carrying extra stuff on board now because it's close to Christmas and everyone has been Christmas shopping so it takes much longer to board. Anyway, we managed to get up here even though we had some headwind. Because of some shortcut tracks we managed to get into Prestwick and it was quite windy. It was uh, 2, 3, 7 degrees, 11, gusting 25 during the landing. And so um, it was up to 25 knots of crosswind, which is great fun, you know. Um, you have to um, you have to handle the um, the aircraft quite a bit at those kind of wind speeds. Um, it's it's a lot of inputs. You won't feel it in the back though. You will feel like the aircraft is completely stable. But up here in the front, uh, it looks like we're really wrestling this thing. And this is you know this is when it's as the must you know at most fun uh, to be a pilot because it's it's not too much. Uh, and it's not too little either and, um, and we managed to grease it in quite well actually. So now we have an aircraft change which means that my colleague has already gone over to a different aircraft that he is going to start setting up now. I am securing down this aircraft and this aircraft is then going to go for some maintenance action in a hangar that we have here in Prestwick. And so when he has, um, when everyone is off here I'm just going to hand this aircraft over to the engineer I'll take the crew, we'll go to the next aircraft and then we'll set that up as if it was the first flight of the day and that's how we do an aircraft change. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, talk to you again once I'm uh, down on the ground in, uh, in Barcelona again in about uh, three hours from now. Right guys, back after landing in Barcelona. Uh, really, really nice flight. Very good weather, and uh, it's just gorgeous coming into an airport like Barcelona. Okay, it has its downsides, I admit that. But coming in uh, from the Pyrenees, seeing all the traffic ahead of us, like pearls on a pearl necklace, coming in on the ILS. Um, but it is, you know, it can be tricky because uh, we had one aircraft just ahead of us going around because of loss of separation. This is really, really tight separation, only about three and a half, four nautical miles in between the aircraft. Uh, but 
really interesting as well. So now I'm gonna put myself in the car and drive another one and a half hour home again. Uh, get some sleep and then back at it again tomorrow.